welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons make sure you like and subscribe this is a BTEC applied science lesson and it's unit 5 chemistry and it looks at how we get aluminium from alumina looking at the specification then for learning aim a1 you can see that this fits down the bottom here at extraction and manufacture and it looks at aluminium from alumina if you haven't looked at the previous videos i have covered all the above learning aims um, i suggest you go away and watch them in order particularly because you do need to have prior knowledge on electrolysis in order to understand this lesson today so go away and make sure you've at least watched ease of electrolysis first so let's look at the main points in this process then so alumina is used and now alumina is extracted from aluminium ore make sure you've seen the previous video on how we do that and once we've got alumina it's dissolved in something called cryolite now I don't suggest you learn the formula for cryolite but there it is there electrolysis is used again you must be confident and comfortable with the terminology so please make sure you've watched ease of electrolysis video again before this now we can't use aqueous solutions here because if we were to use aqueous alumina we would actually make hydrogen instead of aluminium because aluminium is higher than hydrogen in the electrochemical series now if we were to use molten alumina it would be actually very it would be very impractical because the melting point is so high that it would require an awful lot of energy to heat it to such a, a temperature so that's why cryolite is added because cryolite melts at a much lower temperature not a particularly low temperature as a thousand but it's much lower and then the alumina dissolves in this molten cryolite and that makes the electrolysis possible at a thousand degrees instead of two thousand degrees which means lots or a lot less energy is needed aluminum fluoride is also added here because it reduces the melting point further so the whole point is creolite and the aluminium fluoride are used to significantly lower the temperature required for electrolysis which makes the process much cheaper since less energy is needed so let's look at an example of the apparatus used then so here we have three in this diagram in this case there are three anodes so we have positive cathodes anodes here which are made of graphite so our anodes are graphite and the cathode is actually the lining of the cell look so the outer edge or the entire lining is negatively charged you can see it around the outside here so the outside or the lining again is a graphite and it's the cathode and that's where aluminium will form aluminium will form at the cathode so therefore we end up with molten aluminium at the bottom and that allows us to run the aluminium out or siphon it out from a tap and it will be molten because it's at such a high temperature again around about a thousand degrees we don't need to learn the exact values for the temperatures just being aware that it's relatively high and that the aluminium formed would be molten so let's take a look at what happens at the anode and the cathode then so at the anode oxygen is formed now what actually happens is the oxygen formed will react with the graphite anode to produce carbon dioxide remember graphite is just carbon so the carbon anode will react with the oxygen that's formed to produce carbon dioxide now what this means is that those anodes actually deteriorate and would require or would need replacing eventually because they will get smaller because they actually react with the oxygen that's formed we also get hydrogen fluoride formed at the anode and that's due to the the cryolite that's involved the cathode now that's where the aluminium is formed and it's siphoned off let's look a little bit more detail then at the cathode so aluminium ions are present and what will happen is those aluminium ions will be attracted to the cathode the aluminium ions will gain three electrons to become aluminium 
So we can say that the aluminium ions are reduced because they are gaining electrons to become aluminium element. And again, because it's such a high temperature, the aluminium metal will be molten aluminium metal and it's siphoned off. Let's take another look at this diagram then. So the anodes, this diagram has three anodes, one, two, three, and we can see bubbles of gas being formed. And again, this gas would be oxygen, which then is reacting with the anodes and eventually being carbon dioxide. Hydrogen fluoride was also formed here. And the outer edges are negatively charged, that's your cathode, so the outer edge is a negatively charged cathode, and again, made of graphite. Aluminium is formed and is siphoned out at the bottom. And that's the end of this video then. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe.